All right, so I just want to update how my health is. Um, I'm sure, you know, people can see my progress in my ability to, my clarity, um, the amount of brain fog, like my, my concussion's gone. Um, I still deal with um, social anxiety. It's get, It's a ton better, but... Um, I, I still have my guard up, um, when I'm out in public, um, and that's because I haven't healed all the way, uh, like I'm an open book, you know, that's what it feels like, like, you know, not being healed all the way and going out in public, it feels like all your shit, like all the shit I do, like I've talked about on my videos is like all there, like everybody knows and they're all looking at me, you know, and it's just because I haven't healed yet. Um, which, and all that's getting better. I mean, it, you know, um, I'm doing so much better. Um, uh, when I, if I get into conversation with somebody, I start, I, I get these twitches, my face does weird things, um, you know, my hand movements. Uh, I don't know if that's due to the brain injury or and trying to get things out. And I just haven't healed in that way yet. Or if it's just because for the first time I'm able to put these things into words. So... I, you know, I don't know where those ticks are coming from, like this weird, like, things that my face and neck and, and, and that I do. But it seems to be, it's, it seems to be a little bit of both. Um, Energy-wise, man, since I, since I quit out, quit um, cooked foods, stopped meats. Okay, so about a year about a year and a half ago, I had started the carnivore diet. I was doing it for about four months before my brain injury. My And when I had my brain injury, I was feeling like, I felt like I was 20 again. I had, I had um, energy. I, you know, I felt great. I mean, I felt amazing, but I was having tons of, of cognitive dissonance and mental issues that I was dealing with. Um, and then I had my brain injury. So, um, that made it very difficult to stay on that diet. I think I stayed on it for another two or three weeks, unfortunately. Um, because then I went into, um, it ended up cascading into a, a standard American diet, um, within a couple months. And I was back to eating, you know, a couple pounds of M&Ms a night. Um, and, you know, I, I, otherwise my food intake wasn't that bad. I was still eating pretty much once a day, like in a four hour period, six hour period. So I was still fasting most of the day, every day, um, pretty much for the most part. Um, but I mean, I was gorging. I was fucking eating two pounds of M&Ms, you know, every day. So my body was literally taking that time and just every day going, please don't do this to me again. Um, so I had went back on the carnivore diet, I think a couple months ago, maybe. It wasn't as strict this time because the first time I was on carnivore, carnivore diet before my head injury, I was eating like, I think I had six things I was eating total. That was it. And one of them was water. Um, but after I went back on it a couple months ago, a few months ago, I, I was eating, um, yogurt and, uh, uh, uh quite a bit of yogurt, you know, and it, it, to pretty much nullify any kind of diet I was doing. I mean, cause I was then taking a ton of sugar again. It was that sugar habit. Right. After I, you know, I was an alcoholic for 25 years or whatever the fuck it was. And, um, after I quit cold Turkey, um, two over two years ago, I, I developed the worst 
sugar craving in the world. I mean, it's like un, unexplainable how bad it is. Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm just trying to skip through this because I want to, I want to put out some information on fasting for you guys, just real quick. I'm going to do, I want, uh, well, I'm not going to, I, I got to ask my son and Brandon and see if he'll do a video series with me or like a video with me. It's that way, because he's huge into fasting too. We're both, you know, very big into fasting. We understand how powerful it is. Um, and I think that's the key, you know, that has to happen to get, to be able to, man, I, I just don't see, because guys, if you are overweight, if you have vices, if you are consuming these things and, and the, the cravings for those things are parasites, guys, those are programming and parasites. So I don't see how you can continue to consume and consume and consume and not be bamboozled by this whole illusion because you're you're literally spending so much of your time and attention on consum consumption whether you know eating three times a day i mean guys and, and, and you know after you eat 70 percent of your body's energy goes towards digestion so you don't understand how bad we're fucking our bodies up with this five meal a day three meal a day all this shit that we've been doing for decades is just unbelievable. We're killing ourselves. We are literally killing ourselves. Um, okay, so getting back into it, I, I went a, a few months ago, started the carnivore diet again. Again, I had added the yogurt. Well, a couple months into it, I my body was like, no, fuck you. You know, it was rejecting the yogurt very bad, so I had to stop the yogurt. But my body was acting very weird, and it and I was like, man, I. I need to up my fat intake because, you know, with carnivore diet, you've got to be very careful. You know, your protein should be low. You should not be eat carnivore diet does not mean you're eating a ton of steak and a, a ton of protein. You are consuming at least two to three times more fat than protein. Okay. Um, and so anyway, so I, I did that for like a week and I was not seeing any progress. Something was seriously wrong. So like my body was shutting down. So I went into, um, I think I did, what did I do? I might've done like a 72 or 48. And then I went into the fruit, I think, which was, you know, I showed you guys on the calendar, you know, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, whatever it is. And then now I'm here. So, um, and I had started fasting like seven, eight years ago after my last brain injury. And guys, back then I was still heavy drinking. I was still, just like I had before. I had never quit. You know, I was extremely heavy drinker, but I had shortened my window on the, on the drinking. And, but I healed my last brain injury. When I went into my first 72 of my life, 72 hour fast, it, you know, like uh, two weeks after I had started fasting seven, eight years ago. I had, it was like a million tingles in my brain. And all of a sudden, my the next day, my brain was was healed. I was better. I, it, was a, it was like a miracle. And that is with heavy smoking. I was a smoker, a pack a day. I was heavy consumption drinker. I would eat whatever, um, you know, but again, I, I'm very active. I'm a very active person. Um, highly functioning alcoholic I was. Um, okay, so... Where am I going with all this stupid shit? So that's where I'm at today. Okay, so now my health, I'm feeling better, guys. Oh, okay. So during the day, so besides these fucking weird things that I do when I get into conversation with people, especially in front of them, like I I don't know if you guys pick up on it in the camera, but I do it in the camera, but I, when I'm around somebody, I do it even worse. So, um, mm, fuck So tying this back into fasting. Okay, so just some quick notes for you guys on fasting. Okay, well, actually, let me stop this. Let, mm, 15 minute video. All right. Um, fasting, guys, don't be afraid to fast. It's all, it's a mental game. If you are 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds overweight, you can literally stop eating and drinking right fucking now. You can stop eating and drinking right now and you cannot eat. If you do that, you you lose on average about two to three pounds a day doing that. It's about, it seems about two, two and a half pounds a day 
um, doing that. And you can literally, if you're 200 pounds overweight, you can fast for, you know, 80 days, three months, let's say. You can fast for three fucking months. Your body has so much things that it is going to run all of that fat. All, because those fat cells are surrounded with water. Guys, it, there's so much to it. But I'm just going to let you know, if you're 200 pounds overweight, you can stop eating today and not eat for 60 days. Okay? Be safe. 60 days. You're going to lose 120 fucking pounds at least. All right? Um, and that's just the way it works. Period. If you are thinner, if you're a thinner person, now see, guys, there are things to consider. You have to consider... Uh, how many fucking pills you are on if you're on a hundred fucking pills you look i don't know i don't know man some of those pills are very dangerous for some people to come off you know cold turkey and especially if you're coming off a whole combination of them that is the biggest it factor for me in fat in recommending fasting to people because i don't know man i know america is so pilled out dude it's unfucking real um but if you're not pilled out if you're just, like I said, I started fasting. I started fasting. I fasted the first day I ever fasted in my life. I fasted for 18 hours. Second day was 19 hours. Third day was 20 hours. Fourth day was 21 hours. Fifth day was 22 hours. Then I did my first 24. Then I did 48s. I did 48s. And then I did my 72 within two weeks, man. And it was fucking the most amazing thing. Mind-blowing breaking program thing I've ever done in my life. It blew away so many fucking lies that we've been told that anytime you feel hunger, it's because you got to eat. Anytime, if you haven't eaten all day and you're, <gasps> and you got to fucking shove food in your mouth, it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. The whole hypoglycemia. I was told I had hypoglycemia as a military. I kind of go, you know, I need to keep candy on me just to keep my blood sugar up. Dude, complete fucking lie they lie to you guys when you do this fasting with and you go into it with a mindset of just being tired of shit you're tired of being sick and you're you know you know you've been lied to and you're trusting yourself dude it is the most amazing fucking thing you'll ever do in your fucking life it'll change everything i, I i'm telling you it'll change everything so anyways um Yes, if you're overweight, you're fine. Stop eating now. There's no question about it. You don't have to eat or drink for days, for weeks, for months. However fucking overweight you are, it depends. The What happens, you're going to go through detox. Now, it, 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 when you're that big, it, you your detox, I don't think your detox is that bad because you have so much fat you're burning off and, and things your body's using for energy that really aren't going to make you sick. You're probably going to feel every day that goes by, you're probably, probably going to feel better and better there for a while. Um, the biggest thing you're going to be dealing with is food cravings. Is you're going to, you know, if you don't have your mentality set, you're going to have food cravings and then it's going to make you feel like you're torturing yourself. You're going to be like wanting to go to the fucking hospital. I mean, you know what I mean? You're going to drive yourself fucking nuts if you are not in the right place mentally. If you think that your doctor and everybody was right and everybody, you have to eat three meals a day and that you're doing something dangerous and you're stepping outside the box and, oh my God, you're taking a chance with your life. If you're thinking like that, you, you, man, you're going to, you're going to fucking ruin yourself. Don't think like that. Um, so if you're thinner, okay, if you're thinner, you're going to, you know, let's say you're only 15 pounds, 20 pounds overweight and you have a faster metabolism, you might fast for two or three days and be fine. And then all of a sudden, like the sickness will kick in. And that sickness, guys, the sickness I talked about, the fasting sickness is a detox. Your body is detoxing. Imagine like you're a heroin addict. Instead of being a heroin addict, you are a food addict. And your body is literally, you have so many fucking parasites in you that have been that feeding on you since probably the day after you were one years old and they've never gone anywhere. They are sitting inside you. And that is what tells you every time you walk by a candy bar, you pick it up. Every time you walk by a soda, you got to drink it. Every time you do these things, those are the things that make you want it. It is not you. It is not your biological function, natural function to want to poison itself. That are, those are the parasites you have, your body is so infested with fucking parasites. You won't even, <laughs> it'll blow your fucking mind, guys. Um, I'm going to stop this here and I might do another one real quick.